name is Zimran and in this tutorial series we are going to learn about a very very important topic called unit testing for WordPress plugin and we are going to use the WP CLI for that. Okay, so let's begin. So first let's understand what is unit testing. So basically unit testing is uh, one piece of code that we write to test another piece of code to make sure that we get what we are expecting to get. Uh, and earlier on, I was very reluctant in writing unit tests because I didn't I have no idea about what and how you know you need to write it. I thought it's quite complicated. But it is when I started reading different articles uh, and I actually wrote some of the tests, I really started enjoying it. And I'm sure you will love it too when you start writing it. Uh, I tried to find the videos on the on YouTube or, or other sources, but I didn't really uh, you know find any proper one which tells me how to write the unit test. They all talk about why it is important, what it is and all of that, those things, but it doesn't explain how to write the unit test. Um, there are different articles uh, as well which are quite useful and I'm going to uh, leave the uh, link over here in useful link and references which you can check out. Uh, but this is something that I tried and tested and it worked for me so I'd like to share that with you guys as well as to how to write those unit tests. So in this tutorial series you're going to learn all, of, all about it. You'll learn how to write the test, how to install it, how to use WPCLI to uh, to go ahead and install the PHP unit and all of those stuff. Okay. Alright, so the three things you need to do first is set up the environment, second is act upon it and the third is check whether the result matches your expectation. Um, before we begin, there's one important thing you should know about is which is test driven development TDD. So generally what we do is we first write the code and then we go out and test it uh, to make sure that, that everything is working as expected. But uh, by doing so, we realize that you know it becomes a little difficult and challenging to write the test for something for a code that we've already written. So in the test driven development, what, what happens is we first write the test for the new functionality then we verify that the test fails and of course it would fail because uh, you haven't you haven't written any code for it so you write some new code to solve the problem at the hand and then you execute the test to make sure that your new code that you have then written uh, passes okay so let's go ahead and install php unit um, and before we install it i just like to tell you about a term which you might hear which is testing suit. So testing suit is nothing but it's a collection of unit tests and configuration that we uh, you know make for the unit test. So when we're going to say that we are setting up a testing suit it means that we're going to install the PHP unit and we are going to create a configuration file uh, that we are going to test uh, write a test for. Okay so let's go ahead and do it. So let's click on this link. So it takes me to the PHP unit uh, site where it tells me to either down, download a uh, .far file or use Composer to install it. I would re personally recommend to uh, use Composer to install it. If you don't have Composer, uh, then please do install it. I'm assuming if you are someone who's going to write PHP unit uh, tests, then you definitely uh, you know, are a very good developer. And uh, even if you aren't, no problem. Uh, this will train you how to do write the PHP unit tests. Okay, so let's do it by Composer. If you don't have it, you can install it. I'm just going to go ahead and copy the codes. So we need to install the uh, PHP unit globally. Okay. So I'm just going to copy that. And I have the PHP version 7 uh, installed. So I'm just going to check the version. So you can see I've got the PHP 7.1, so you can check over here uh, which which one do you have, uh, which version of PHP you have, and you can click, and accordingly you can take the code from here, what you need to write. Okay, so I have uh, PHP uh, 7 installed, so I'm going to use this one. So I've already got written over there, and since we need to use, install it globally, uh, the PHP unit globally, we'll use global uh, flag or keyword. So I'm just going to paste it and just install it. So since I already have it installed on my system, it's just going to update it. And then I'm just going to pause the video while it does that. Okay, so as you can see that it was already installed. It's saying nothing to install or update. Uh, next thing we need to do is just type the command 
PHP unit. And if you get something like this, that means that it's already installed. So you can see PHP unit 5.1.3 by Sebastian Bergman and contributors. Sebastian Bergman was the, the you know, main person who had uh, created this PHP unit. Okay, so let's continue further. Now you need to install WPCLI. Uh, now WPCLI, uh, which is WordPress command line interface. Okay, uh, I have already got that installed. If you I haven't got that installed then please you can install it uh, this is the link basically you can go on to this link and you can follow these uh, commands and you can install it and then just type WP to check that you have WP installed so if I click on WP you can see that I've got all of this information which means that WP uh, is installed so just press the control C just to get out of that okay great so the next thing we need to do is install WordPress using C WordPress CLI, WP CLI. Okay, now um, if you already got the WordPress install and project ready, no problem at all. Uh, you can skip this part, but uh, in case if you haven't, then I would recommend to install uh, WordPress using WordPress CLI uh, to ensure you don't get any errors. And then you can copy the theme uh, or copy the plugin and keep it somewhere safe. And once the WordPress is installed, a fresh WordPress installed, then you can go ahead and paste your plugin into the WordPress folder. So I'm just going to install the WordPress CLI just quickly. So before that, I'll go ahead and make a directory. I'll post the video. In fact, you know what, guys? I think this video is getting a little bit long, so we'll do that in the next video. Okay. See you then.